treat your taste buds to a delicious dessert. Silky, luscious, and not too sweet. A combination of whipped cream, chocolate ganache, crushed cookies, and topped with fresh raspberries. Kings and queens, welcome back to my channel once again. This is Queen of Chefs. Queen of Chefs. So I'll begin by pouring one cup of heavy whipping cream to a glass measuring cup and heat it up for about two minutes. To which I'll add two and a half cups of semi-sweet chocolate and allow to sit for about five minutes. I'll stir with a spoon until all the chocolate has melted into a smooth consistency. You can also use a whisk for this step. It is nice and smooth, so I'll set it aside and move to the next step. For the base, I'm using these cookies I found at the grocery store, as well as shortbread cookies. I usually use digestive cookies, but I couldn't find them. So you can use digestive cookies or any cookies of your choice. I'll put the cookies in my food processor and crush it roughly. I don't want it too smooth. If you don't have a food processor, you can put them in a Ziploc bag and use a rolling pin to crush it. I don't like it too smooth because I like to bite into the cookies. I'll put it in a bowl and set it aside. To the next step, I'll add two cups of cold whipping cream to the bowl and whip it on high until it's thick. If you do not have a stand mixer, you can use a hand mixer for this process. I'll stop the mixer and go in with two tablespoons of powdered sugar. I don't want the whipped cream too sweet because the chocolate is sweet already and the cookies are sweet also. Two tablespoons of powdered sugar will give it just a teeny weeny bit of sweetness and that's just what I'm looking for. And voila, our whipped cream is ready. Moving on to the final step. So I've melted four ounces of salted butter. I'll put the crushed cookies into our dessert bowl and then I'll add the melted butter. Mix it and press it down firmly. Mmm. The aroma from the crushed cookies and butter is so satisfying. Here with a 
at this stage, I'll go ahead and top up the cookie base with the chocolate ganache. To the ganache, I'll add the crushed cookies I saved for this step. After covering the chocolate ganache with our leftover crushed cookies, it is time to go in with our whipped cream. I'm using a piping bag to pipe the whipped cream, making sure every spot is covered with whipped cream. And after it's all covered in whipped cream, I'll put it in the fridge to set. This usually takes about six hours to set, but I just couldn't wait that long. We were all waiting impatiently to dig into it. Fresh raspberries is the real deal for this dessert, so I'll throw a few on top. This dessert is super delicious, and my Ashanti people from Ghana will say, Wubedisa! A super quick yet delicious dessert. Silky, creamy, and chocolatey. Come, let's enjoy this on a hot afternoon, and thank me later. Until I come your way again with something wonderful, remember, weeping may endure for a night, but joy cometh in the morning. So go ahead and make magic in that kitchen, because cooking is simple. Don't make it stressful. See you in my next video. Subscribe and come learn tasty